Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep, and today I'll be opening the Dubwell V collection box, which features some Champions Path packs and then some big old cheap. All right, let's get right into it. Oh, if you guys wanted to see the back, you guys can pause this really quick. So first off, we have the Dubwell, Dubwell V Jumbo card. Not bad. Then we have the Double V promo card, which is pretty nice. Got that Revenge Blast attack and then Soft Wool. Sword and Shield number 49. So this is actually the one before the Charizard V from the Champion's Path Elite Trainer boxes. And we have four Champion's Path packs. And once again, these just feel like nice and tightly bound, so I'm pretty excited. Two Obstagoons, two Gardevoirs. Let's get it. So, in my last Champion's Path opening, if hopefully, if you guys haven't seen it, I would watch it because it is my first time opening Champion's Path and it is a fantastic opening with one fantastic pull. I mean, there's other good pulls in there, but there's one pull that's just above the rest. Um, but I am looking just for any hyper or ultra rare Gardevoir cards. Those are my ideal cards. If I see a card that I haven't seen before, I'll stop to admire the artwork for a little bit. But overall, Reverse Hollow Scrafty, and I'm already seeing something amazing back there. This is a rare, so fantastic. And a full art hop. Not bad. So I will admit, oh, this is number 73 of 73. So I will admit, Hop is not my favorite rival slash companion ever. But he does, he does grow on you after a little bit. Um... So this is a really cool full art to get. Do I prefer full art females? Yes. But, I mean, I'm not opposed to getting full arts at all. So, overall, this double box has been made because I got this full art trainer hop. But, you know, everyone always wants the Charizards. Um, me in particular, I wouldn't mind some Gardevoir stuff. But, yeah. So not bad so far. And then that reverse rare Scrafty. Go right into this Gardevoir pack. Hopefully... You know, Venusaur V or Gardevoir has a lot of variants in this set, which is nice. But let's see, great start so far. I'm very excited. I uh, would like to know how your guys' luck has been with Champion's Path. If you've even found any Champion's Path. Ooh, Victini. I don't have this one yet. Fire. And it's an uncommon. Nice. That's a really cool little artwork. Those those teeth kind of bother me. One's going in one direction and one's going up, but whatever. Peace to you, Victini. Team Hill Grunt, Sizzlepeed. Yeah, I'm very curious if you guys have had any luck. Unfortunately, when this set came out, my work prevented me from, you know, scouring the Walmarts. So reverse Hollow Swablu, don't have this. And Hollow Machamp, which is a repeat. So I didn't get an opportunity to kind of maybe get a couple extra Elite Trainer boxes, or I'm still missing the, uh, at the time of making this video, I'm missing the Moto Stoke um, Gym Pin Collection box. I have the first two the grass and the water gems. So I would be hoping to get the full collection of at least the, the September releases and then eventually the October. Ooh, Absol, I do not have this uncommon. It's a nice looking card. Rodent Phone, new trainer card. Swablu, Weedle, Rockruff. Getting some Potion, Reverse Hollow Lipard, and an Altaria Hollow. Do not have this yet, so that's quite nice. And for the final pack, maybe get some last pack magic, maybe a uh, maybe a secret rare, who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean this set is overall pretty small. Um, I know there's just like a lot of hype in general around it, but then people say that the actual set doesn't hold too much substance. You know, I personally like smaller sets because to me they just they're a lot more attractive as far as trying to complete them. But when you got two super heavy hitters. If you don't pull those two heavy hitters, it's may, it might be a little bit difficult to complete the set. Galarian Zigzagoon versus Hall Swablu, another one of these. And if you can see, there looks to be a little bit something shiny. So, last pack magic, here we go. And a du Duraludon V. Nice. This is, a, this is a very interesting Pokemon being Metal and Dragon. Definitely a difficult type to deal with. Um... Looks to be in for a V card. Yeah, there's always, you know, a decent amount of whitening on the outsides of these V cards because, you know, that black-white contrast, it's really easy to see. But looks to be a good card. 
um, but in a nice sleeve. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this, hopefully a little bit shorter video, and I'll go right into the recap. Thank you.